Autodesk Character Generation, Part 2. Let's create a new character. We're going to go up and start with a new button. I've deleted everything in here. This is what you would have if you were first starting. So I'm going to create new. And you can see that we have a standard style. So it's a plain human form. If you are paying premium, uh, you can do the bulk or the gorn. Uh, but for free, all we have is standard. You can choose down here in the standard or the premium. We're going to go with standard for college student. We have female on one side and we have a male on the other. So I'm going to start with a character. The character I'm going to do for this is going to be a Scandinavian middle-aged female. Uh, so I pick something that's fairly close. We can tweak things as we go here. So I'm going to either go with Ava or Avon. So let's go with Ava. So I, I pick on Ava and I'm going to say customize. Now here is a generated look of, of this right now. Now what we want to do is to blend between two different characters. So I want to come down and look through the different generated shapes here. We have quite a bit of them here. And I want to pick one that looks close to the model that I want, say a Scandinavian uh, feature. Um, and so I am going to go with, uh, let me pick out one here. I am going to go with, uh, definitely not Miss Bones, okay? Uh, but let's just pick one. I'm thinking, I'm going to say the probably closest one is Amy. And I'm going to drag and drop that up here. Now, I can slide. Notice um, I can slide here back and forth. So as I slide to the right, it's going to be more like the model on the right. As I slide to the left, it's going to look more like the model on the left. Okay, so you can kind of pick towards any style you want. And we also have a, a different way of looking at it over here. So if you you can generate here, now this does suck up a little time, but not too bad. Um, so you can look at it from different points of view type thing, and you can look at various things here. Now, this is not the, it's not a one size shop shopping. In other words, I could pick any two models and blend between them, but we can say, well, that's not exactly what we want. Maybe, for example, I want to come down to the eyes. And I come down here and check in the eyes. And I can come over here and I can uh, I can say I want to blend between any two models over here. Okay, so I don't have to keep the same two models. So, you know, if they have some different sets of eyes that might look uh, correct for you, for your particular model, I might say, oh, I want to bring in, and I can put in either side, and I can just replace them. And I can say, oh, I want to go more towards the model on the left for the eyes. And I can do this right down the lines with the ears and the mouth, the chin and the nose. So maybe I'll come down here for the nose. And I don't have to do them all. I can do whatever ones I want come over and find which nose is appropriate for me. And so I said, oh, I got Amy and let's go with, uh, I'm going to go with Harley. Okay. And I might go over and say, oh, it looks a little more like Harley in this case. And it will regenerate, right? And you could slide the slider back and forth and regenerate and see the overview. Okay, so this is how we get our base mannequin is by picking 
the different eye types, the different ear types, different mouth types, etc. Okay. Now, once you generally get this done, then you go down the line here. So we're going to come in and we're going to pick skin color. Now remember, I'm trying to do a Scandinavian middle age business professional. So I'm looking for a very light color skin. And of course, we have all the different uh, types of makeups. And sometimes we have the, you know, the avatar looks and things like that. So I'm looking for um, something like this. Now, when I hover over and it says show variations, I come over here and I get different levels of makeup, for example. All right. So whenever you see a select, um, that's what's going to happen. So I'm looking for something with like a freckly, very pale. So I'm going to go with this one right here. I'm going to go select. It's in use, which means that's the one that's going on. So I'm going to change. Yeah, that looks pretty good. I think that's what I might go with. All right. Now let's go with the eyes. So Scandinavians, blue eyes. So I'm going to pick a very blue eye right here. And I can go select. And now she's got greenish and she'll change over to a blue eye type thing. And now I'm going to go with a hairstyle. Um, and this female that I'm mimicking has kind of a longer hairstyle, um, a medium length hairstyle. Uh, and I am going to go with uh, oh something that looks like this. And I also have a select. And sometimes when I go with it says in use. Um, I can say OK. Uh, but when you hover over them, uh, you have variations. So we want to get a variation uh, because I want to get a blonde coloring of hair. And so I might go with something like that. OK. So all right. Now, next comes the body, and I can choose the different shapes of body. Um, so I can come in here and just exaggerate uh, to give you some, uh, you know, we can come down here to the back side, to the stomach, to the breast, to the chest, etc., cetera, um, to, to the legs. Um, let's go with a, to the back side. And also, again, we can come up here and blend between two models. So let's just do that as an overall here. Um, I might say there's a lot of different gals here. Um, her shape is kind of a little like, like Kathy, perhaps. And uh, let's go with Daniela. I'll replace it. And I'll say she's a little more like Kathy than Daniela. And I could come in and tweak each individual shape however I want it between any two models down here uh, with her arms and her chest etc okay uh, but here's my favorite is the clothing this speeds so much up in our modeling in Mudbox now I want a business professional so I'm going to come down here and pick something like this I say show variations um, good I like the blue and uh, I'll generate the blue top and we can't be wearing jeans, uh, so we need to come down here and do the bottom. And so we're going to pick the bottom here. Um, and it's a business professional here. So I think I'm going to go with like this right here. And now we're going to change the shoes. And let's go with something like a pair of flats. And I could see different variations if I wanted to, um, but I'm just going to go with black. Okay. And there's my model. Okay. So uh, once I'm done configuring everything, customizing, I'm going to say finish. It's going to ask you where to save the character. I'm going to call this one a Sarah. Uh, and I'm going to call this uh, grade school teacher. All right. I'll say okay. 
and it will generate it up here and it'll think all right so it does calculate on the on the on the cloud a little bit so uh, give it some time and then we'll come back to our next steps